Uh, this is my first week after training, and um, I'm stock listing a project. Yes, sir. And I've got my pipelines on the drawing, but you know, um, all the check marks that you can uh, select as you're setting up in your um, your pipeline uh, settings. I didn't put to, like segment pieces and things like that. Can I just double click those pipelines and then select all? like select it and then is there a way to just turn that on after the fact or do I have to go back and, and um, do you do you have your drawing open can you share your screen sure yeah just click here. I could show you on my end but it might make more sense for you to do it in your drawing yeah awesome okay so if you want to adjust pipeline visibility after pipelines have been assigned, um, you can open the properties of the pipeline and adjust some, some visibility. Um, okay, so you just selected the label. So you're going to need to select the line. Yeah, there you go. Sorry. Haven't quite uh, no worries. down pat what, what yet. No worries. So on the first pipeline tab, if we go back, the first okay. pipeline tab, that this is this controls visibility of the overall pipeline label. So the, the label okay. that you had originally selected, this controls whether that is visible and where along the pipeline it's displayed. Okay. If you go to the pipeline segment tab, here is where you can turn on individual segment labels and right either here. include well I can't see your cursor for some reason. I think you're just sharing your application. But yes, so you can turn on segment labels. Now if you hit OK, okay. those labels should populate each one of those pipe segments. Sweet. OK. And you yeah, could do that for multiple like pipeline draw. types. So if you were to right click on one of those branch line pipelines, select all like selected. Mm, actually, I take that back. I don't know if that's necessarily a good approach. Because yeah, they're going to carry like different. A global approach is something that's going to cause problems down the road. I just I guess I had already gotten all my pipelines put on here, and I was like, man, I hope I don't have to go back and do that again. You know, for like a branch line like this, that, you know, is relatively long. I've got a couple segments. I didn't want to have to come back in. and. Now, those two and lines are, 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 are the same. So that you could select those yep. together and, and then globally turn on segment labels for, for both of those at the same time. Okay, fair enough. And then, um, and I guess at every coupling or every break in the pipe, there'll be another pipeline. No. Well, the only time that a pipeline should break is if we've got properties turned on in a coupling that tells a program to break the pipeline there, okay. or if the pipe um, if the pipe type differs and we've got a, a setting toggled in our fabrication standards to, to break pipelines at different pipe types. Okay. So yeah, let's, let's open the I'm properties not. of that coupling, and I'm, I'm just curious if we've got a setting turned on. We don't. So that's smart coupling option that would tell the program to break the pipeline at that pipe. We don't have that turned on, so that should not have forced a break in that pipeline. But okay. um, if you have individual segments selected, if you're manually assigning pipelines, that mm -hmm. will control how pipelines are assigned to individual segments. But if this pipe is all the same type, if it's all branch line, programs should not have broken those pipelines. Okay. Unless we've got, uh, there might be a setting. Now, so just out of curiosity, the, all, all, mm -hmm. all of that two-inch, that's it's all set to branch line, correct? There's not... Um, yeah. Okay. So it's all, you see it's all illuminated there. Yes, so. sir. Uh, all branch line. Okay. So um, let's go to, let's open up our fabrication standard settings. I want to take a look at the pipeline tab. And see sure. what uh, what options we've got. Okay, so we're merging children. Um, yeah, I don't know why the program would have broken those lines unless there is a physical separation at those couplings. But I have a feeling that your pipes are butted together right there, right? You just ran auto coupling. That's right. Yeah. Just run auto coupling. So, in this instance, would it just be best just to kill these two pipelines or these two branch lines pipelines, and then try to put it on again and see if it would, I guess, 
put them on as a continuous pipeline from one end to the other? Um, yeah, I would be curious. If you delete those three pipelines along that two inch and then select all three of those segments. Sorry, I dropped the phone. No worries. All right, so here we go. We'll just do one right side at a time. Well, no, I want to be typical, so. So select all six of those segments. I just want to I want to manually assign pipelines. Select all six of those two inch uh, branch line segments. Okay. And then let's go to the listing. Pipelines create. And then for branch lines, let's turn on the segment. Yep, perfect. And then um, let's go ahead and click Create Pipeline. Okay. So, All right, so uh, that worked. So now we have, I don't know why it broke um, or why they were broken up initially, but okay. now we've got a, an, an, and again, same, those are typical lines. There's only two of them, so the program, to, and we didn't select to use typical labels, so we're not getting actual T labels. Um, and that's that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it at least it labeled these two specifically, I guess. Yeah. Are, yeah. Both L S three. Um. Okay.